According to a new survey, nearly half of Americans do not have enough emergency savings to cover even three months' expenses. Here to discuss the findings and to provide tips on how to beef up your reserve funds is Jill Schlesinger, editor-at-large of CBSMoneyWatch.com. So tell us what the survey found. How bad is it Yeah, out there? this is pretty sobering. 28% of those surveyed have no emergency savings at all. Then 21% have less than three months of expenses saved. On the positive side, 17% have three to five months worth of expenses socked away. A quarter have enough to cover at least six months. And you know, I always like actually people say three to six months. I like six to 12 months. It takes a long time to get a job if you were to lose your job in this environment. Well, sometimes it takes a long time to build up that kind of savings. Oh, yeah. Sure too. does. How does how do these numbers uh, compare with before the recession? Well, this is sort of the interesting thing because in 2006, remember it was the top of the housing market, 61% of Americans didn't have enough emergency emergency savings to cover three months. So we are making progress. You know, a recession will really kick in the tush, but it is slow going. After the financial crisis, consumers have really focused on paying down debt, which is great, but it happens often at the expense of draining your reserves. So now is the time to focus on rebuilding those nest eggs. It's so important. How to do that? That's the, really the hard part. Incomes are flat. It's so difficult to save. So what advice do you give to people? Well, you know, it's really hard, but I think the easiest way is to automate the process as much as you can. So here's what you do. You look at your weekly spending. Just identify one thing you can do with that. Maybe it's a coffee. Maybe it's lunch. Maybe it's clothes. Now you're going to use that as the basis of your monthly savings. Then you just tell your bank, automatically pull that amount from my checking account, move it into my savings account. Again, six to 12 months is what we're shooting for. And why? Because you want to avoid having to go out and charge stuff on your credit card if things go south for you. And you really want to try to avoid withdrawing money from your retirement account when unexpected expenses arise. So to help you out on MoneyWatch.com, we've got a great article. It's called Where to Stash Your Cash. Look, I know this is tough, but I have talked to people who have really little amounts of money and they scratch it out. It's just being disciplined and making it automatic. Discipline, right? All right, Jill, thanks so much. Always great advice.